Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the fourth and last part of our Edward 148 scale MiG 21R build. This is where we left off last time. We have painted the kit well almost and applied the main decals. Let's finish off the paint job by doing the exhaust. I have masked off the tail section and start by painting the area with AK Interactive True Metal Aluminium. Next, some shading with burnt metal. Lastly, I blend everything in with jet exhaust. Time now to start applying the stencils. Right, as you can see there were a lot of them and it took me about 2 days to fix them all. No point boring you with showing you how to fix tiny decals. So let's move on to the next part, the pilot seat. The seat is fairly detailed out of the box and as with everything else in the kit, it went together easily. seat was then given a coat of Mr. Color 13 Neutral Grey. cushion and some other parts are then painted with the lighter Tamiya XF83 medium sea grey. The final assembly. Lastly, all the photo edge parts are glued on, starting with the harness and the belts.
I now move to the undercarriage assembly. There is also this photo etch part that goes on the main column which is rather difficult to fix in place. Time to start painting. I first paint the inside of the covers with the cockpit interior turquoise. The undercarriage parts like the main column and shockers are painted with Vallejo's US light grey. I painted the tyres with Vallejo's black grey. The hubs were painted with AK Interactive Radom Green. Parts of the shock absorbers were hand painted with aluminium. While the undercarriage parts were drying, I decided to add some post shading to the kit. I had lost most of the pre shading to the multiple layers of paint. So I took some Tamiya thinner and added a drop of black to it. Then using this highly diluted mix, I lightly went over all the panel lines. Once the post shading was done, I gave the kit a couple of layers of gloss varnish and let it dry overnight. Time now for a wash. I will be using this black weathering wash from Flory Models. It's water based and I believe has clay in it. This makes it very easy to use and unless one really mucks it up, really safe to use over any paint. Once dry, the wash is simply rubbed off with a paper towel. 
If you want, you can lightly moisten the towel with water. I used a cotton bud or q-tip for the harder to reach places. I move in the direction of the airflow and deliberately leave some wash on to try and mimic streaks. I will now add some tint to a few panels and areas on the kit by using this brown oil paint. I start with the wing root. Apply some oil paint and then blend it in. This gives the area a very subtle brown tint. I do the same to some raised features, just to make them pop a bit more. And lastly, I go over some random panels. The idea is to break up the monotony of the paint job and show that different panels on the aircraft have undergone different amounts of weathering. Now, a couple of coats of matte varnish to dull down the shine on the kit and also to blend everything together. Next, I started working on the external fuel tanks, missiles and this pod. All the parts were cleaned and glued and then I quickly went over them with my hobby knife and sanding sponge to clean up the seam lines. Parts were then painted and glued onto the kit.
a few final finishing touches. And here it is fellow model makers. My take on Edward's 148th scale MiG 21R. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe. Till next time, good luck and happy modeling.